guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can do corkscrew curls. This is a very 80s design, which I think is really cute. I wear this quite a lot when I go out with my mates or if I'm just going downtown to collect some things. I think it's a really cute look and quite simple. The products that you may need, obviously, are going to be a hair curler. Um, something to keep your hair up, which, you know, I tend to use just a clip. I'm using the one I got from Primark. If you do have, like, maybe you've washed your hair the night before and in the morning it's looking a little greasy, take a dry shampoo. I'm using, again, the one I got the other day. It works miracles. And then for the ends, I'm just going to pop on some um, Moroccan oil. So, you know, so once you've got all that, let's get started. Okay, so first, the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my clip and I'm just going to section off my hair, excuse my double chin, um, from just behind the ears, like so, just like that. And then I'm going to take it all up and I'm just going to pull it round and put it up so that that is out the way I don't have to deal with it and I have it sectioned out lovely and nicely and it looks decent so i take my curler and i take just a small chunk of hair like this for example and you just put it underneath and roll over like so like that and then you want to twist upwards and you want to just hold this on just for a little bit not too long you don't want to burn your hair off but I usually keep this on for about five to ten seconds and then it comes off so I'll just take it off and ta-da so that's one way you can do it a lot of people I know do ones this way or ones over and ones under which I think is really cute but you want to keep it quite close to the base of your neck just to make sure you know that like I don't know it just I think if it's closer it's much cuter in my opinion so I'm just gonna try and make sure these all look cute and I will film this all on camera <laughs> So the next thing you want to do is you want to flick your hair back, you want to take out whatever hair you have sectioned off, in my case it's this clump of wonderfulness up here, and you want to just make a little bit smaller so that you know you don't have all the hair in the way. For this time I'm just going to stick it there, and again do the exact same thing I did for the first one. A lot of people, including like my mates, do ask me all the time, how long does this take you? How long did that take you? And to be honest, it didn't take me any longer than my natural like curling wand that I would use like to curl and style my hair literally doesn't it worked in the same time to be really honest which I was quite shocked at myself but you know some of them are going to be teensy some of them are going to be big you just got to go with whatever whatever way your hair's feeling you know so oh gosh sometimes you might get 
ain't really tight and then other times it might be like mm, no i want to be out and be bold and you know fancy and that's fine and your hair can be like that and that is okay you know i did make a massive cup of tea for this video which is sitting over there actually um because whenever i curl my hair i always have to have a cup of tea I don't know why, it's just a thing I do. <laughs> it's so like odd, but just my my thing whenever I curl my hair. Do you do anything weird when you curl your hair? Let me know. I tend to usually, like obviously I'm filming so I wouldn't, but I usually tend to have music on in the background when I curl my hair. Or even when I do anything with my hair, it's usually like music sound in the background, usually Taylor Swift. But yeah, it just depends. Just depends. Oh, I left that one a bit too long on and it's went a different way. There we go. This this side here, right? Because I am filming near my um window, it's harder to, you know, get it curled looking cute, but hey ho. Hey move. So I'm gonna film that and then you'll see it. Okay, so now I take my hair down and I just take the two pieces that are for the front, which I tend to call my bangs, and I'm just going to twist them up and pin them with the claw clip up and out the way so I can pull all of the hair forward and to make sure that it works and looks decent because there's nothing worse than going outside when you think your hair is like styled and looking perfect and then to find out that oh no you've missed a piece or oops there's one piece missing that is so annoying so yeah you just curl it the same way I've been doing since the start Take your curler, go under and twist. Under and twist and twist. I don't leave it on for long, usually about five or ten seconds, and then it comes off. And I just do this all around my head. Again, it doesn't take that long to be honest. People do think it does because you know it's a lot smaller pieces of hair and ergo it means that you know your curler your curls are going to be a lot more finer but one of my friends her hair is actually like this you know and I love it and I think it's so pretty I just think that you know having a different hair set would be cool like, I've been rocking the same hairstyle since I'm pretty sure I started high school. And then I'm out of high school. I'm thinking of trying something different. Who knows, you know, the world is wide and I just want to do things my own way. So yeah. Last piece on this side. Use the curl it, make sure it looks cute. 
this definitely is like an arm workout as well. The time you spend holding it, oh, girl. There we go. Make sure I haven't missed out anything at all. And then I'm gonna do this side off camera. Just gotta make sure that every tiny wee little bit is in fact curled because if it's not, oh girl, it's not gonna look cute. Yeah, but I'm gonna do this bit off camera and then I'll be back. take off and I like to push the pieces that I've done behind my ears where it's the final one and just put it down the middle 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 there we go that it's not in the middle there we go cute now I have a feeling somebody's probably gonna ask it they're gonna say oh Roma you have white hair um, just to debunk all the theories, I didn't dye it, no, I'm not an old lady, and no, this has not been caused from worrying, so don't worry about that, but it just happened one day, and it's a lack of melatonin in my hair, so there you go, if you were thinking anything, don't worry, that's not it at all, so there you go. That is it all done, making sure you haven't forgotten any pieces. And what I like to do is I don't leave it here. I run my fingers through to make sure that like it's kind of more puffier and more like a tier, I suppose. I love the 80s. I love all music from the 80s. I think the 80s is great. There we go. And then if you know what your hair is not looking its best, you can put some dry shampoo in it. I don't eye showered this morning, but I am gonna put a wee a titch of Moroccan oil, um, which it works like really well for my hair. It's really cute and it makes my hair smell nice. So you know, so just a wee little size, rub it on your hands and rub it through your hair. I would say to people to use hairspray if you want your hair to like last all day. But knowing this curler, I have a feeling it will. I usually would put hairspray in it, but I'm trying to not because I'm trying to look out for my hair recently. Um, if you're wondering where I got this curler for, it's from the Leaf Stafford collection. I got it years ago. I don't know if it's still a thing, but I'll put it down in the um, description for you if you do want to buy it by any chance. Anyway. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe give me a like, you know? Subscribe if you want, because I get up to a lot of different antics uh, on this channel, and I do a lot of hair stuff, and I do makeup now. So, you know, if you wanna go down there and give me links and everything, I will be more than happy to accept that. Also, if you want to find me on any other platforms, it's all down in the description um, underneath all the things I've used. If you want to figure that out too, they're in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Bye!